this is Reed from The Placeholders, and I wanted to put together a little video about my experience playing the Fallout 76 beta today. This is the only day that I could participate, and I guess it's the last day of the beta, so I'm glad that uh, I got a chance to play it. I am a pretty big Fallout fan. I didn't really get into them until Fallout 3, like a lot of people, but I have gone back and played the other two, and while I like the old school style of gameplay, I really do enjoy the New Vegas Fallout 3 kind of direction that Bethesda took the games in, and as a result, have sunk plenty of hours into 3, New Vegas, Fallout 4, and now have spent a little bit of time, what I could, on this beta for 76. Without explaining too much, because there's plenty out there about what the game is, it's basically taking Fallout in the direction of more of a survival simulation than previous entries. It's also not really story-driven. There are some quests that do kind of fill in backstory of areas that you're in, as well as the vault that you come out of, but it's definitely more supposed to be focused on the cooperative nature, and as a result, they've added multiplayer, which is kind of the unique thing with 76. So if there's any reason to play 76, it's to play Fallout with your friends. And to me, that's compelling. I think that the concept fits for the Fallout universe. It's a world that's ravaged by a nuclear war and you're emerging from the vault like you always are. But in this situation, it's a little less guided by find your dad, your career that got shot, and uh, or find your son, I guess, have been the three main plot ties of those other Bethesda games. But this one is more focused on you just get out and now you kind of have to rebuild. And because of that, there's a huge emphasis on craft uh, you have hunger and thirst bar, which are new. All of these concepts uh, fit in with what you as a person who had lived through this nuclear war would kind of be wanting to do once you get out. So it, I feel like the concept is there and there's enough compelling reasons to see why it got made in the first place. As far as locale, this installment set in West Virginia in the Appalachian Mountains, which is pretty much the most heavily forested area we've seen in a Fallout 3D game. There have been some areas, especially Boston was a little bit more wooded, but because West Virginia, the middle of nowhere, mountains was not the target for these nuclear weapons, they are kind of exempt from a lot of the destruction that we saw, especially in DC where everything was just to the ground. So that's kind of nice having trees and greenery. Because of that, there's crazier wildlife that I've encountered from your typical mole rats and all that that you've seen before, but there's crazy sloth creatures, and it seems like there's a little bit more emphasis on, you know, nature having taken over since you're so far away from civilization in the first place. So West Virginia, I think, is an awesome setting for it and really helps establish why you'd be out there kind of reestablishing while humanity is coming back out of these vaults after this war. And then the other thing that I found really enjoyable in this beta was the exploration. I mean, that's why I play Bethesda games in the first place, from the Elder Scrolls to Fallout games. Their games are meant to be explored. You are given this huge open world, and yeah, a lot of times you have quests, but to me the most fun is just going around to each area and finding little secluded cabins and checking out what's inside, and they're very good at telling stories without being explicit about them. Basically, they, they do a lot of storytelling just through the environment, and that's what I always appreciate. So I don't necessarily need to be rewarded with a quest or some awesome item, although a lot of times by doing that you do find those things, but you're just sort of given these little bite-sized stories to consume, and that's really where the meat of the game is for me. So the fact that you can do that with your friends in this is kind of a unique experience, and it's a huge interest for me. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if the execution is quite there. I know it, uh, they call it a beta, but the game releases, what, next week? So it's not going to change dramatically between now and then unless they've gone through some crazy bug fixing in the meantime and are ready for the release. But I got to imagine that what we're playing now is what we're going to get. I am pretty disappointed with the performance, honestly. I don't know if that's because they're sticking with that same engine they always have and just trying to push some of the fidelity options higher and higher. They try to do this crazy thing with lighting. They're trying to basically make it look like light is coming through dynamically so you'll see like shadows from poles and in inside the houses you'll see sunlight come through the windows but it doesn't look very good and honestly I had I tried to turn the settings down so that I could turn it off but there aren't the graphics options you'd want 
And so you can't toggle those things individually. So you're stuck with just like ultra high, medium, low settings. And then you have something with shadows, but unless you turn them completely off, which I don't want to do, I just don't need them to be super dynamic. Essentially, you're stuck with just a lack of options from the display and graphics perspective. From a perspective of looks and performance, it, it also just stutters a ton. And I, for whatever reason, I think it's because I'm downscaling when I'm recording, but the footage that you're looking at looks way smoother and way nicer than what it does when you're playing. And I don't know how to capture that. I was trying to show it. It is janky as all hell. It will skip every couple of seconds and it's just minute. And also, you can't change your field of view in first person. So normally in these games, you can go into the files of the game where it's installed and you can hand key in a number for your field of view. But because it's a multiplayer game, they've locked all that stuff, probably to prevent cheating, which is good. But you can't change your field of view. And if I'm sitting at my computer monitor two foot away from my head, it's making me dizzy with all the stuttering too. So I played part of it in third person but again you can't even zoom out on that you're stuck with this either very cramped first person view or this third person view where your guy takes up a quarter of your screen because you need to see his shoulder and all that stuff i just found it very uncomfortable to play and it was kind of taking me out of the experience that's unfortunate because i was enjoying going through this sort of tutorial set of missions and getting acquainted with the systems in the game i mean this to me solves the issue of fallout 4 the settlement building as cool as that was i had no reason to do it because i wanted to go out and explore and if i've got a base with my buddies to kind of be a campsite that we're going to keep working on that's a settlement that i'll actually be using that way we can all make it our own and it's not just one person having to do it so while i ignored that feature in fallout 4 i think it works out really well here i didn't have a chance to play with friends because there was no one in the beta but there is some interaction with people in the tutorial so i got a little taste of that speaking of other people in the game i didn't run into any combat with people because you're not allowed to do that to level five and that's a little ways into playing but the thing that's kind of crazy and it's a weird design choice is that they have auto on mic and so there's no push to talk and so you just hear people hitting their keyboard or clicking their mouse a bunch or breathing really loudly, which is mainly what I ran into. And it's kind of distracting from the rest of the game. It's proximity, right? So if you're across the map, you don't have to worry about that. But in these tutorial towns, as you go through, it, everyone's kind of going through the same spot. And I'm guessing that the server's grouping you with people similar level. So that it's not completely unfair, but everybody's kind of migrating that way. So inevitably you're on the same road with a few people or in the same town running back and forth from quests and you're just hearing this dude breathe into the mic the entire time. So that was a bit distracting as well. The last big gripe that I had, and it, it's carryover from Fallout 4, so it's not completely uncommon to me, but it's disappointing they haven't addressed it. It's that key bindings, they seem to change by menu. So you might be in one crafting station and it's tab to back out and use the arrow keys to move around. And then the next one, it's like use Z and C to scroll horizontally in this menu and then use your arrow up and down keys to go up and down and it just felt like a very convoluted system especially because you're playing on a computer and you have a mouse let me use a mouse to select all these things but they don't i'm sure that part of that's to have a universal menu system so you don't have to develop two one for consoles one for pc but you'd really think that they would figure that out by now and i can't imagine that development time is that crazy to develop another set of menus they've definitely had it in other games and so it's frustrating that it's not in this one i guess overall there's pieces of this beta that seem really interesting to me. The fact that you can play with friends, having kind of a home base crafting sort of situation to me just feels like a very fallout thing to do. But with the performance first and foremost, and then some of these other issues like the social issues sort of being forced on you with other people or frustration with the controls or lack of field of view, I'm not going to be picking up this game uh, if they patch those things in later and and we'll see once they add mod support if there's more freedom but I, at that point i might just play it solo because i don't necessarily need my friends there i would still like to experience all those people the team that made this map and went through and added all these little details i still want to do that because that's what i love out of a bethesda game but at this point <laughs> it's not really a complete enough package for me so that's kind of my thoughts obviously it's not a full-on review i haven't spent a ton of time with it these were just kind of the things that jumped out at me obviously as i continue to play this afternoon there might be other changes to that but i'm very curious to see if one things do get fixed up by the time this game releases i'm guessing not but then also to hear about the development going forward and what their plans are to keep the game fresh and updated i think they've got something there they just really need to refine and refine and refine 
So those are my thoughts on the Fallout 76 beta. I'd like to hear from you guys to hear what your experiences have been in the beta. And then when it launches, let me know how the performance is. If anything's changed, I'll definitely be keeping an eye out as this game moves forward. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to check out the rest of our Let's Plays and videos that we've got on the channel. Thanks!